What's up, everybody? So today's just going to be a quick video on how I run so gosh darn fast in Arena and how you can do the same. Okay, so I mean, it, most of it just comes down to setup, but or it's actually some of it comes down to setup, but most of it is literally just the tireless pursuit conduit and just really being a master of it and just utilizing it to the T. But let me show you everything else I got going on. Okay, so. Um, I have an add-on here called Deja Character Sats, D-E-J-A. If you are interested in this add-on that shows some extra stuff like global cooldown, uh, you know, energy regen, movement speed, and whatnot. So, my base movement speed is 31%. Okay, so let me just tell you this real quick. I just made this video before, and I, just, I was like talking about how my movement speed was increased. And to be honest, I'm not sure where all this is coming from. I'm confused too. Uh, but because I locked out like my priest, and he has 100%. Uh, like when he doesn't have any gems or any enchants, he's at 100 percent so let me uh let me try to see if we can add all this together okay so 31 percent baseline movement speed okay when i go in travel form i am moving at 71 percent increase movement speed when i'm in cat form i move at 61 percent movement speed okay when i press stamp eating roar and then travel form i'm running at 231 percent so this is a, a rather hasty individual here. Um, so let's see if we can break this down for you. So first off, we got, let's go down here. We got um, back enchant, minor speed increase. I believe this is like a little bit. You should do some research on this, how much you see these are, but it doesn't matter, just do it, okay? Um, so minor speed increase here. Um, going down next, nothing there. Okay, 5% increased movement speed up gem. Okay, this is a uh, old school gem. Buy it from the auction house. It's actually kind of expensive for some reason. And then here, speed increased by 13 for each Shadow Lens gem you have sucked in. Okay, so this is a one that should give you, that other one gave you five. This one, I believe, gives you seven or eight. Um, so when you have to, you have to have full sockets. So. Okay, so add all, uh, from that, Yo, guys, I'm actually confused. Hold up. Where is this speed coming from? <laughs> okay, wait. Is there baseline movement speed in anything I have? I'm so sorry. This is terribly, uh, terribly sort out. Why the hell am I moving so fast? <laughs> okay, well, at least, honestly, that's all I have. I have, uh, this, in I have this socket, this socket, and this in I don't... Am I dumb? Am I dumb? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, well, that's all I got. I don't know how that adds to 31. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Um, but we're just going to go with it, okay? So um, just do those things, and you're randomly going to have 31% movement speed, I hope. If you don't, let me know. What's, what am I doing? What's, what am I missing here? But, okay, regardless of what the 31% is, okay? When you guys watch me play, and you people are and people are asking me, like, you know, why I'm moving so fast, it's literally the conduit, okay? This tower's figure on movement speed increased by 40%. All right, so anytime I have an extra global, anytime it's travel form, cancel form. Okay, so the cancel form looks like this, cancel form. Like this, that's the macro. Okay, I use it as its own button. I use this in my, I talked about this in my Kiting video and literally just pressing it all the time, you know, throw some heals. I have four seconds with this, I'm constantly moving. Second to have it open again, travel form, cancel form, and I'm running again. Okay, do what, do what you gotta do, travel form, cancel form, and then you start going again, okay? so essentially a really high uptime on it okay so that's just what you got to do even if you're going calf form right because calf form is six is 61 percent increase for me travel form 71 so if i do or if i want to go bear form right bear form oh okay it's 30 because uh, sorry it's 30 percent if you come from calf form 40 percent come travel form okay so if i want to go in bear form right if i have the time to i won't just press bear form i'll press travel form bear form now my bear is zooming all right, so just literally trying to just weave in as many travel forms as you can, okay? And that's really where the movement speed comes from, okay? And then outside of that, you just gotta use that movement speed to your advantage, you know, with, in the, with the game knowledge of what's going on in the game. So I wanted to give you guys just one example of a game where, I'll be honest, this was just kind of comical at this point. I'll try to, I'll compensate over this. So this is basically uh, doing some viewer games. I'm playing against a, a Windwalker monk, okay? So I'm playing Convoke, so I'm trying to play a little, you know, hesitant, I go in and I go out, okay? But 
it's pretty obvious off the bat. I tried to I tried to trank his Ralph. It didn't work there. I want you guys to take out your calculators and count how many times this guy uses leg sweep, by the way. Okay, so this is just kiting, okay? Anytime I get the chance, it's like the second so right now my entire sweep I think runs out here because I'm healing a lot. The second I see this guy even move towards me, I'm gonna press travel form and then cancel form and start running. Say travel form, cancel form. Bam. I'm running again, go bear form, I still have my speed. Stampeding roar, travel form, cancel form. I'm running at literally faster than amount of speed. Okay, travel form, cancel form. This guy is not going to catch me. I got my full-blown Nikes on. I got three Nikes on, dude. Okay, travel form leap. Again, take Tower's Pursuit. I wish I had this game to see the uptime on uh, Tower's Pursuit here, but... These are the things that you guys got to... If, you, if you're if you playing Druid, you got to get good at, man. Titan. Titan, Titan, Titan. You know, being aware of when you can get stumped. So the only thing you gotta look out for for a monk is paralysis. It's typically gonna be paralysis. So this guy, I don't think he was using his paralysis insanely well. Um, so trial form, I went to cancel form out of there. Okay, so I gotta meld three stealth, and then I'm just out again. Trial form, cancel form, trial form, cancel form. Um, I wish you could see that when I press cancel form on my uh, my juice my GCD uh, add-on, uh, but you can't. But this is like the alright idea, right? You always keep yourself on your toes. Um, have your Talos Pursuit ready immediately, right? Bear form. I, I thought he was going to stun me there, so I did that, and then I leaped to my partner. Um, but yeah, um, how many times has this guy used leg sweep so far? Zero, okay? Partially his fault, but partially because he just he's like being greedy and really wants to only go me. Um, but yeah, he hasn't used it yet because I've never given the opportunity. I, every time I see like an inch of him trying to go me. So what this guy really should be doing is roll paralysis and then walk to me leg sweep. He's not doing it, but uh, yeah, like right there when he's like rudiment, but that should have been a para into a leg sweep. But regardless of what he's doing, I just want to show you guys off, what show you what you can be doing with your kiting and how you can take advantage of the speed, all right? So, you know, also another just minor tip on kiting, roots. Roots, see how, right here, I'm not in combat. So I can spam root that guy, I'm not in combat. Get a little Voki Vokov here. <laughs> okay, end him with a little 20 care. It's a good way to finish off that game. This guy kind of did literally nothing. 2100. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there you go, guys. So, um, yeah, take advantage of your college pursuit. Get your gems and enchants. And uh, somehow you're going to run as fast as me, I hope. If, if something is still not working, please let me know. I will uh, try my best to figure it out. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.